When lofting between surfaces, you often want to control how the new surface connects to the existing surfaces. In Mastercam 2026, we've added some significant features to our surface loft command. Let's take a look. I'm working on a tower assembly and I want to loft between the two large openings, replacing the current features. I'll isolate my geometry to make it easier to see. When lofting between chains in Mastercam, careful attention was needed to make sure your chains were all going in the right direction. If this wasn't addressed, you would get twisting which might not be desired. In Mastercam 2026, the new setting Align Chain Directions Consistently automatically removes the guesswork, allowing you to select your chains in whatever direction you need, including window selection. As we see here, the chains are in different directions, however the result is still what we want. Now, in cases where you want better control over how the surface starts and ends, we now have the ability to match the surface tangency at both ends of the loft. By enabling Match Surface Tangency at First and Last Chain, we see that we get a really nice blend at the two ends of our loft. And with our Dynamic Sync option set to Minimum Distance, we get a real nice loft between our two surfaces. I encourage you to explore our Surface Loft tools. If you do surface modeling in Mastercam, you'll agree that these enhancements will help get your designs and fixtures completed more efficiently.